Uh, J.K. Rowling joins us now. Hello, Joe. Hello. How are you? I'm really well. So I was in New York and I was just below the Flatiron and there was a big, big crowd and I thought, oh, what's that? And it was the biggest Harry Potter shop. I, oh, I, I know that one. It's I huge. bet you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you well, drive by going, mm. <laughs> no, no, Graham. I drive by sort of crouching down in my seat. Um, yeah. I, I, I was once in a, a shop in London with my son. He was a little bit younger then. And we took a wrong turn in the toy department and we ended up in the Harry Potter merchandise. And I was trapped because there was this big group of uh, American young people behind me and a ton of people ahead. And I sort of dragged David behind a bookshelf and I said, we'll just wait here a moment. We'll just wait here. And he looked up at me and said, how much money would you want for me not to shout, she's here! <laughs> <laughs> um, no, because I often say, you know, everyone wants to be successful, but nobody wants to be Adele. I mean, <laughs> oh, I love Adele. No, I, I mean, but that's I know all what, of Adele. I know but you know what, what I mean. I do completely know what you mean. Yeah, absolutely. I think you've got to keep a, a sense of humour about it. Yeah, because yeah. can you, you know, can you go out and about? Can yeah, you have I a do. life? I can go out and about, um, but I don't hang around um, Harry Potter merchandise stores, which would be which would be a little self-destructive, yeah. I think. Yeah. And when they did the, the Harry Potter reunion and you were kind of excluded, I mean, that must well, have I, been... I wasn't actually, Or did you exclude no, yourself? Uh, yeah, I, I, I was asked to be on that. Okay. Yeah, and I decided I, I didn't want to do it. I thought it was a, about the films more than the books, you know? Quite rightly. I mean, that was what the anniversary was about. So, yeah, that wasn't... No one said don't. In fact, I was asked to do it, oh, okay, and I decided good. not to. Yeah. And have you have you still got a relationship with the young actors? You know, some of them have spoken out about you, and da-da. do you still have a dialogue with them? I I have. Um, yes, I do. I mean, some more than others, but that was always the case. You know, some I knew better than others. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Robert Galbraith returns with the Ink Black Heart, a new strike novel. Uh, it strikes me. Strikes. <laughs> 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 You know, this book, obviously, there are lots of fans, Cormorant Strike fans out there, much anticipated, but they're not queuing up at midnight for <laughs> the new Cormorant Strike novel. No. Um, do you miss that kind of feeding frenzy and madness no. and delirium, or is this more manageable? <laughs> it's. Um, I don't mean this in any ungrateful sense because it, it obviously it was wonderful what happened with Potter, but it was quite overwhelming at times. And crime fans are a more <laughs> a less um they like their sleep yeah they like their sleep exactly that's that's a that's a good way of putting it yeah and, and i empathize <laughs> uh, so uh, what can you tell us about uh the plot how are you what's your sort of pitch your elevator pitch for this novel um basically we are dealing with an anonymous person online who who purports to be a fan of a cartoon um, but has has turned on the creator and appears to know a lot about them personally. So the creator comes to the agency saying, please, can you find out who this person really is? It has to be someone who knows me. And that's the start of the plot, the detective plot. Yeah. And reading it, I couldn't help but, you know, the, there are echoes of your life. Yeah, more because echoes than I realise because I... I should make it really clear after some of the things that have happened to me online in the last year that this is not depicting... I, I'd written the book before certain things happened to me online. So uh, I, I said to my husband, um, I I think everyone's going to see this as a response to what happened to me, but it genuinely wasn't. I, you know, the book was... The first draft of the book was finished at the point where certain things happened to me. I'm being very mysterious. People, I'm just talking about... Um, online threats and so yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. But where the echoes are concerned, the, the fandom uh, within the Ink Black Heart is absolutely not the Potter fandom. Because, you know, you're talking about the, the threats online. How do we get back to a... How can we de-escalate all of the, the things that are, are going on? How can... Is there a way that you, as this very kind of visible vocal person, can de-escalate the conversation? Um, I think on one level... I'm not sure I can. I'm not sure any individual can. I mean, I try and behave online as I would like others to behave. I wouldn't, you know, ever want to... Um, I've never threatened anyone, obviously, and I certainly wouldn't want anyone to go to their houses or anything like that. Yeah. Social media is definitely... It's simultaneous. It can be a lot of fun. And I, I do like the sort of pub 
argument aspect of it, it you know that can be a fun thing to do but there's no doubt that social media is a gift for people who want to yeah um, you are, you behave are such, in a, a malign way. You are such a different creature to me. I, I <laughs> open the door to Twitter, I see a pub brawl going on 24-7 and just shut the door. Well, I, so I did actually take, I did actually take, I think, a whole year off Twitter, um, or quite a long time. And then when COVID happened, oh. I, yeah, I, well, I went, no, I, so I actually didn't go back on it for the pub brawl stuff. I went back on it because I wanted to do the Ichabog. And I wanted to, so that was a children's book for oh, people with, who yeah, don't with the, know. the contest right. for the drawings, And yeah. so I wanted to put it out for free and I wanted to do, uh, and Twitter was a, was a really good, so I went back on with the intention of doing the Ichabog. And then I sort of have a bit of a love-hate relationship with it now. I can happily go for a few days without get, getting into a pub brawl or... Because I, it struck me reading the book that, of course, you know, it must have been so weird because there's that bit of your life and yeah. then your books you would have thought would be an escape from that bit of your life but this book no it delves, delves, it delves into it well it, do you know i wanted to because the last book troubled blood was a cold case and it was a very very sort of traditional interviewing old people in their front rooms about what they remember about the disappeared woman and so i wanted to do something very different i wanted to go into a completely different world of now and it was a fun way to explore it actually because strike is 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 older and he's not the kind of person who would be on twitter or ever have any interest really in yeah. being on twitter so he's you know he's in a a world that he's not familiar with robin being 10 years younger is much more familiar with online worlds and understands them a bit more and are you able to do book events now are you able to go out and do things yeah i am i mean i've i um I really enjoy doing book festivals and so on. I think COVID just put such a spanner in the works that yeah. everyone's slightly forgotten how to <laughs> how to go on stage. But I did do uh, I did an event for the Christmas Pig, which was out um, obviously quite recently. My my children's book, and that was so much fun. I loved it. I forgot actually how much I love talking to kids. It it was. Um, yeah, it was a beautiful event. I loved it. And so will you do events with the uh, Ink Black Heart? Um, possibly, yeah. Uh, there's nothing planned at the moment, but I might do, yeah. All of selling our hotcakes, who cares? <laughs> 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 I don't need to. No. Uh, well, listen, you didn't need to do this. So, uh, J.K. No, Rowling, thank you very enjoy. much for coming in to see us. Um, thank you very much and good luck. The Ink Black Heart is out in hardback now and you can pre-order it at robertgalbraith.com. Thanks, Thanks so much. Graham. Bye-bye. Bye.